next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, Joe Rogan, this is as accomplished a kickboxer as has made the walk to the UFC octagon as we've seen in the last several years. I'm excited to see his kickboxing skills on display in this particular matchup. Really a nice arsenal of kicks. He'll attack that lead leg beautifully, not to mention the solid punching technique that he brings to the table. This man is a danger for anyone in his striking range. When that octagon door closes, we're expecting fireworks tonight. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range. More often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He can do it all. If the fight takes place standing or on the ground, he's gonna be comfortable in all areas of the game. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! All round in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing folks, fighting! This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Nightman! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 148 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, awesome! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go down right now. And we are underway. Damaging strike there. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. to avoid that right hand. Big left hand there inside. Powerful right hand. Spinning back fist. 
he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offering. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, nice hook. With 90 seconds to go in round one. That one hurt. And he connects there, Joe. Dropping down, looking for a single. There it is. 45 seconds remain in the round. Big body punch. Covering up, doing a nice job of stopping that ground and pound. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Ten seconds. Yeah, Round two straight ahead. Listen, protect yourself. Stay away from me. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. So here we go with round two. We'll see if these fighters get after it. You saw at the beginning of round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Entertaining round, don't get me wrong, but we will see here in round two if there's an uptick in the aggression on both sides. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with the left there. Look at this. Let me show you the total strikes. Oh, big right hand, yes. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. And he's looking for that left. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. And there he swung with a haymaker. Looking to avoid that left hand. Really missed with that right hand. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. He's got a beautiful leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on.
just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. And he eats a right hand there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Good exchanges from both fighters. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very impressive striking going on in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. for both guys the last time out. Now we'll see if one fighter or another can really take control of this fight. Both fighters have been aggressive, but also defensive. We'll see how they approach this next round and try to really put this fight in their favor. And he che he's checking every single one of those. See the total strikes. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Right on the button. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Just over three minutes to go. Missed the mark. <laughs> Moving towards his right here. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And he connects with the punch there. Pretty significant low. Left side. He's got the hooks. Completely flattened him out here. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. He's got his back, he's looking for the rear naked choke. From here, what he wants to do is get his forearm under his opponent's chin to get that neck. From here, he wants to put his hand on his bicep and then put his other hand on the back of his opponent's neck for maximum leverage. Wow! And they're down on the ground. Inside the guard, right away. to half guard. Trapped here in half guard. Joe doing a nice job here staying busy from the bottom. Big punch from the bottom. Next right. three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship rounds. The volume has waned a little bit. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. 
Incredible highlights in that round. Get that cut. That's a bad cut. Start protecting your face. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. <laughs> Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. Oh! This could be it! Oh! What a leg kick! Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes, and at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter, but tonight he has worked the body to great effect, and those are really starting to take their toll. Yep, starting to do some really significant... Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. This could be it right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, tagged him. Just out of range with that oh. right hand. Oh. He's in big, big trouble oh, here. Oh, he might be out. And he continues to work the body here. Slips the punch nicely there. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Nice jab. Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. Tremendous hook, landed flush for the victory. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Check it out again. Check it out here. Boom. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, one second of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout. Oh, so there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight, and he has set himself up for a huge fight now, moving forward inside the octagon.